first we need to get on xbins and download the firmware so we're going to use ground zero's automated xbins downloader extract that to the desktop and run the bat file it's connecting to xbins right now and it will automatically load everything Alright, there we are. So you want to go to Xbox 360, firmware, hacked firmware, uh, the Toshiba Samsung TSH943, and you want to get the latest Extreme 33. Just drag it over here. After that's done, you just want to go in the XBINS folder and download and open up your firmware that you downloaded. And you want to copy the bin file, just copy it right onto your desktop. Alright, and then you can close out of that. And now it's time to run Extreme Bootmaker. And I'm using the latest version of Extreme Bootmaker, it's version 2.10 by Clutch. Wait for this to load. There we go. I'm going to open my firmware up first. It's right there on the desktop. Um, select Use Custom MTK Flash. And then select my VIA card from there. Then hit Detect ID. Alright, and it, as you can see, it's already filled those in. I'm going to select my USB drive from the list, format it, and hit prepare. There we go. And now one thing that's um, different with the MS-28 drives is you have to use the SATA command and the MTK flash command. So I'm going to go and edit those in the Sam Reed. Right, where it says MTK flash RM, I'm just going to hit a space and ha add the SATA switch. And hit save on that. I'm also going to do it for the SAM hack because that's what I'll be using right here. Hit save, and now we're all done. Alright, just make sure you have everything set up right. Uh, you got the SATA cable plugged into the DVD drive, and that's plugged into the computer. Um, you have the croc clip set up, connecting the PC chassis and the Xbox 360 chassis together. The video cable to the Xbox 360 is plugged in, and the power cable. So we're just going to turn on our computer first, and boot from USB. As you can see, I've now booted into DOS, so I can turn on my Xbox 360. Alright. Now that that's on, I can type the SAM read command. And as you can see, it's detected my third chipset. So now I'm going to turn off the 360, select my SATA card, and wait for 10 seconds. Alright. As you can see, right when I turned it on, it started reading. X360 SAM is done, and it tells me how to flash the hacked firmware back on there. And that's it. I've booted back into DOS, I'm going to do the same thing to flash the drive. So, I'm going to type SAM hack, space, and my serial number, space, 
go. Enter. And you can see the third one, so this is where I turned it off. Hit my third one. And wait for 10 seconds. As soon as I hit that, it started flashing. Alright, it's all done, and that's how you flash an MS-28 using the bad flash recovery method.